Good morning. Okay, so um, in my last video, you saw what I did for my next step, running the corner beads after the box and making sure all the screws were spotted. So now we're on to where we're gonna glaze the, or finalize the angles, I should say. And um, I wanna show you guys how to mix the mud. We're using a mud shot by DeWalt. It is a phenomenal tool. Now, first thing, I've used it before, so after, after it's used, I like to, and it's cleaned, I like to send in a bottle of water, or a bucket of water, I should say, and let the water soak into the machine a little bit. Now, this thing is kind of cool, okay? Now, first of all, I've got a North Star head on it. It's a 3.5 inch head. For this, they have an adjustment here, okay? This adjustment allows the mud to flow faster or you can slow it up, okay? Now, as we're running the angles, sometimes they'll be a little heavy. Um, if you're running your mud too thin or something and they come out too fast and you might have to go across them again, well, you just close this up. When you push on this, it won't, it won't move. So it allows you just to go back across the angle with the blazer. And what I also did is you see there's, there's four holes in the top of this. Okay, Le level five did, this is a DeWalt brand, but level five made this tool originally. The, you pour the water into these holes while you're mixing your mud. That helps the seal down here, or basically the, uh, the plunger. It'll help it go up and down. Now what I'll do is I'll just swish the, you see I've got water in there now, if you can see the water. And I'll just swish it around a little bit and get the inside of that thing all, all basically wet. And then I'll dump it out one of the holes. Okay, now this, this helps a lot when you start with this thing, because it allows that piston to push it easier going up the, up the machine. Now I'm gonna put the angle head back on here real quick, hold on. These angle heads to me are second to none. <clears throat> All right, so I'll leave that on water for a second. I'm gonna mix a bucket of mud and show you the consistency that I use for this. Now, again, we got our Gatorade, cu our Gatorade cup. You see me use this a lot, I'll put one. And I'll do, now this is for Proform light blue finishing mud. I'll do about, I don't know, a little bit over a half on a second cup, okay? I run the front mud pretty thin because you can really get moving with this. This, this house here, if you, if you guys have been following me on this one, it's, uh, there's close to 500 sheets in here. We've already put 16 buckets of mud on this house and we're just finishing up, getting ready to go into the stem, skin coat now. So, the consistency I use is close to what I use for boxing. See this here? This is actually a little thick. I'm gonna thin it down just a little bit more, so I'll add a little bit more mud, or a little bit more water, I should say. About that much right there. See, that's pretty consistent right there. If it's a little thick, I'll remix it a little bit. Now what I'll do is, most of these ceilings down here are nine feet. There is a 10 foot tray. They do sell an extension for this. And this extension's about yay long, and it screws into the back of this, the back of this pole. Um, it is nice for the 10 foot, 10 foot stuff. Now, we go over here. you'll see that literally this slides right into your pump. Now you're gonna to wanna to brace it here and put your foot on the bottom. Now because I put water in there, it released easy, okay? And now I'm just gonna pump it up there. I'm gonna pump it all the way up. Now you gotta be careful. I mean, this thing can be a mess. It's a little tricky to get out of the box. I pump sometimes and it usually squirts mud. So as you see, I have it over drywall all right now one more thing is if you pump dirt into this it's going to start leaking mud so you got to keep that clean okay now i'm going to run it probably about 
just to start it off, I'm going to turn it one, hold on, one, two, I'm going to turn it about three turns, three turns and a half. Now let's go over here. Now, we've already gone through and sanded these angles. So basically we took a sanding block and we just glassed over them. You don't want stuff in your angles that's going to mess up your, your they're not, so you don't get drag marks and all kinds of other things. Now if you look, I put it down at the bottom, I give it a little push, okay, and you see the mud starting to come out. Now, I'm not going fast, okay? So I'll adjust it a little bit more. I'll go another two turns. Now I'll start down here at the bottom again. Push it and go. And once this thing gets moving, it is phenomenal, okay? I'm not going fast by any means. And I'm simply gonna pull it off. Now, you see I got a void here. I'll turn this back down a little bit, just so hardly any mud comes out. Stick it down here, boom, go. It'll fill that void right up, you see? Okay, now you don't have to do that every time. I'm gonna open it back up and I'm gonna go across the nine foot. Okay? Now, I can go faster with thinner mud, yes. And as long as you get all the goobers, you're not gonna get that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna close this, close this back up and we're literally just starting into this. So, there it is, it's absolutely perfect. There's hardly anything to wipe out. Now, I'll come back an hour later and I'll pick my three ways. These will all be set up and dry up there. I'll pick them one time and go from there. Now, I want to show you a couple more things. I want to come off the corner over here. Okay, so I'm gonna do this whole ring. I'll start here, set it, and go. Now, see the mud I have in there could be from what I had in my box pump. I opened it up a little bit more. And now we're starting to move a little bit. Now you see it at least perfect angles. Perfect. And you don't have to clean them out. Now when I come off the corner over here, I'm gonna go out to the end and just boom. That's it, it's gonna leave it full. Now we're gonna go. Now this is nine foot off the floor. And I'm not using any effort. A lot of these guys use hockey boxes, what I call a hockey box. Um, I can see that the ceiling angle wasn't saying that great yet. There's a lot of screw pops that are happening. But or when you when you glaze with the bazooka, a lot of times it'll leave it'll leave a bubble on the screws. But that's what I'm after. Now I'll have somebody come back and touch that up. I'm fortunate enough to have my son here, my oldest son here today, he's 24. And he'll just smooth that out a little bit. When we're picking three ways we can come and touch that stuff up. Now, I got a wire here. I'll move the wire out of the way, make sure there's no goobers on it. I'll start down here, or right here, and I'll go down. Okay? Now you see, this, this is an uh, angle that wasn't sanded for one, but it's also an angle that's not square. So leave that like that, come here. And that's it, I'll pick a couple inches there. Now, this is another angle that's not square, and I've got thick mud. So I'm gonna open it up, okay? Start here. Just give it a little push. This is a deep one. I'll come and do this one, one more time after this. Now when my mud's thin, I'd be able to go a lot faster. This is a really deep hole right there, Phil. And that's it. Now, we did, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we did eight angles. And however long this video was with an explanation. And I don't know, it'll probably take three hours to go through this entire house. But this thing is a huge time saver. When you figure out the mud consistency that you like, and you figure out the setting here to use, it's priceless. 
it is the fastest way to finish angles. Anyway, you guys have a good day, and uh, we'll see you on the 12-inch box video, which is coming next. Thank you.